We all know Eric is a god, but did you know he dated Ivanka Trump? Keep watching to find out everything you need to know about the romantic relationships of the That 70s Show cast. Better known as endearing geek Eric Foreman, Topher Grace prefers to keep his romantic life private and out of the public eye. Throughout his career, he has dated a few actors, ranging from Anne Hathaway to Jennifer Goodwin. However, his most notable and perhaps most famous fling was with none other than the eldest daughter of former President Donald Trump, Ivanka. Their fling was very short-lived and, according to Grace himself, consisted of nothing more than a couple dates. Now far removed from the mid-2000s dating scene, Grace married actor Ashley Hinshaw in 2016 and is a father to their two children. Hinshaw is a former model and has acting credits in TV series like True Blood and The Arrangement. In 2020, she announced via Instagram that she had earned her bachelor's degree after five years, captioning her post, Today I celebrate. I've spent the last five years overcoming challenge after challenge to accomplish this goal, all while juggling a career, a wedding, and having 1.99 children. Congratulations to my fellow graduates of 2020. We did it. Unlike some of her other That 70s Show co-stars, Mila Kunis has not been very active in the Hollywood dating scene. In fact, she is only known to have dated two people. At the age of 18, Kunis started dating Home Alone actor Macaulay Culkin. The two were together for nine years, beginning in 2002 and ultimately splitting in 2011. In the year following what she described as a horrible breakup, Kunis matched with none other than her That 70s Show co-star Ashton Kutcher. The pair had unexpectedly reconnected at the 2012 Golden Globes, after which Kutcher invited her to his house to catch up. The pair followed up a month later for a housewarming party, and the rest is history. Kunis and Kutcher casually dated until officially becoming a couple in April of that same year and got engaged in February 2014. Kunis and Kutcher married in 2015 and have two children together, Wyatt and Dimitri. In the early to mid-2000s, Ashton Kutcher was slowly becoming one of the biggest names in Hollywood. Along with his popularity from That 70s Show, Kutcher starred in movies like Dude, Where's My Car? and Just Married while also hosting and producing MTV's Punked. As his career started to take off, so did his romantic life. During this time, Kutcher dated a few popular actors, including January Jones and Brittany Murphy. In 2003, Kutcher met actor Demi Moore, and they married two years later. However, the pair separated in 2011, fueled by media reports of infidelity by Kutcher. Guys, I'm exhausted. I have no more friends. My only friends are Demi's kids and Bruce. After the very public split from Demi Moore, Kutcher reconnected with that 70s show co-star Mila Kunis, and the two made their relationship official in 2012, a year before his divorce from Moore was finalized in 2013. Today, the two are considered one of Hollywood's power couples. Danny Masterson's dating life has remained both simple and off the radar throughout the years. He met actor Bijou Phillips in 2004, and the two dated for five years prior to their engagement in 2009. In 2011, the pair got married, and three years later they had a daughter. Phillips' acting credits include parts in Almost Famous, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and Raising Hope. Her famous relatives include half-sisters, China Phillips, part of the pop group Wilson Phillips, and actor Mackenzie Phillips. But it's not exactly happy ever after. Both Phillips and her husband have faced some serious controversies. He with legal issues tied to allegations of rape, and she being accused of homophobia and harassment. In 2017, actor Daniel Francesi accused Phillips of bullying him on the set of their 2001 film, Bully. She later apologized for her alleged behavior, telling TMZ, I don't remember that time well, those years are a blur. I was a teenager and reckless in my behavior. I am so mortified by this behavior and have contacted Daniel and apologized to him privately. It was reported in 2021 that she's sticking by her husband in the midst of his criminal trial. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact RAIN's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673. Since the end of That 70s Show, Laura Prepon has continued to act in other projects, most notably in the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. Though she has continued working, Prepon has mostly remained private about her personal and romantic life. The actor was in a long-term relationship with co-star Danny Masterson's brother, Christopher, from 1999 to 2007. Following the split, she dated Scott Michael Foster on and off for five years, before ultimately splitting in 2013. The actor remained single for a few years before ultimately finding her current partner, Ben Foster. Like Prepon, 
Foster is an actor with credits in both film and TV, including Leave No Trace, Galveston, and the Oscar-nominated film Hell or High Water. The pair have known each other through mutual friend Danny Masterson since Prepon was just 18 years old. But according to USA Today, the two started dating in 2015 and got engaged in the fall of 2016. Following their engagement, Prepon spoke to E! Online about their relationship, saying, I'm happy. It's amazing. He's the love of my life. Prepon and Foster are now married and have two children together, a clear happy ever after. Following the success of That 70s Show, Wilmer Valderrama quickly became a Hollywood heartthrob, with his romantic life reflecting his up-and-coming celebrity status. Throughout the early to mid-2000s, Valderrama dated Mandy Moore and Lindsay Lohan. He was also rumored to have dated several other stars, including Ashley Simpson, Jennifer Love Hewitt, and even Avril Lavigne. Valderrama's longest and most well-known relationship was with singer Demi Lovato. The two started dating in 2010 and continued an on-again, off-again relationship for six years, before breaking up amicably in 2016. Nothing to do with falling out of love. We decided together that we're just probably better as friends. As of January 2022, Valderrama is engaged to Amanda Pacheco. Pacheco juggles a few different job titles, including Patty Dive Master and Model. Valderrama and Pacheco met in March 2019 and were officially recognized as a couple when they were spotted publicly together in July 2019. Valderrama proposed on New Year's Day in 2020, announcing their engagement on his Instagram with the caption, it's just us now. The couple welcomed their daughter, Nakano, in February 2021, and the new addition has only strengthened their bond. In a joint interview with parents, Valderrama spoke candidly about continuing to prioritize his love for Pacheco. They tell you, okay, it's all about the baby. So both of you are with the baby and you forget about each other and you forget about yourself. Prior to his role as Red Foreman, Kurtwood Smith acted in a number of films and TV shows, most notably as the villain in the 1987 movie RoboCop. At the time, Smith had been dating actor Joan Perkle and actually asked the filmmakers to give her a part in the film. He elaborated on his request in an interview with Esquire, saying, We'd been living together, so she might as well have been my wife at the time. We'd been living together for 13 years before we got married. I guess we'd been together for 10 years by then. I asked if she could read for the part of Dick's secretary. Love brought Smith and Perkle together both in life and film, and the two have been married since 1988. Despite her extensive acting career in film, television, and theater, Deborah Jo Rupp is most known for her role in That 70s Show as Kitty Foreman, the loving and overprotective mother of Eric and Lori. Throughout her life, Rupp has prioritized building her career with over 300 roles in TV and film. This fierce dedication to work has made her a skilled expert in her craft and kept her romantic life on the back burner. That said, the actor is currently single and has never been married or had any children. But if you can't get enough of power couple Kitty and Red, you're in luck. Rupp recently joined the Netflix reboot of That 70s Show, titled That 90s Show. The revitalized show will focus on Kitty and husband Red Foreman as grandparents in the 1990s, as reported by People. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.